Hey guys, it's Dean here with an update video. I don't normally do videos like this, but today it's a special occasion. I am going to show you how I made this arc reactor from Iron Man 1. Now this I made a long time ago, but I'm seeing a lot of videos pop up recently that are showing more accurate versions of this, and I'm noticing that they're missing a couple of things and the dimensions aren't exactly accurate. So this thing, I made a long time ago. It has a light box on the inside. It attaches with magnets to itself. And there's parts I'm going to show out in better lighting where it's missing some of the details in the other ones. And I think that mine is the most accurate 3D printed version of the arc reactor from Iron Man 1. So one thing you might be able to see in this video is there's a copper coil with red tape wrapped around it in three different spots. And there's also blue capacitors that are inside. And they're really hard to see, and that's why most people don't have them. But this is the most accurate prop that has the most accurate dimensions also. And another thing people miss is that over the mesh, it, mine's a little cloudy because it's getting old, but there's a dome, as you can see, a clear acrylic dome over the internal mesh and I'm gonna try to make it so you guys can see the capacitors in the copper coil ring soon okay so as you can see the blue capacitors are there on the inside and the copper coil with the red shrink wrap on it is right there so that goes underneath and there's a good close-up of the dome the mesh behind it. It's the mesh with the dome on the other side. The outside rings made from glow in the dark filament so that way the, when the inside lights up the outside can glow also. The reason I'm posting this video it's because I had a video scheduled for this week and all the footage is on my friend's computer. I'm still trying to get that footage from him. He's having some technical difficulties. But after I post this video, I will likely get that footage, be able to post that video, and we'll be able to see what all that's about. It's really cool. Be sure to check out some of my other videos over here, guys. I make stuff out of foam, wood, plastic, and more. Obviously, they can include electronics. And I also do some movement stuff like parkour. And you can subscribe right here. Subscribing really helps because it lets YouTube know that you like this video. So I'm going to be making a video showing all this and releasing the files right after this. See you later.